Hi guys, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations and this video is designed to give you a good look at your uh, 1976 Nisogen Model B Pachinko machine that uh, I recently restored for you. I can't believe you found this on the side of the road. Uh, I should be so lucky. <laughs> I, you, you have some pictures of, of some things that, that I've done. Uh, you know I tear them all apart. One thing that I'm going to uh, let you know is that this is the original plexiglass that was in the machine. Um, it is cracked and it's, it's clean, but it's, it's, uh, it should be replaced. Um, that's the one thing I don't have access to now. Um, I can pretty much get most of the things I need online, but plexiglass is not one of them. Um, so I'm not going out anywhere to, to get new plexiglass. So at some point in time, you may want to consider having a new piece of plexiglass put in, or you may want to even go with, with glass. Um, the original machines had glass, not plexiglass. So you just go to your local Lowe's or wherever hardware store and just have them cut you a piece of glass or plexiglass this size, and it goes in the inside um, slot. There's actually two two uh, areas you want to put it on the inside not not the outside one okay so one of the things that I did um, is the dolphins and the center attraction uh, had almost no paint on them whatsoever um, so I, I tried to stay as original as I could uh, not knowing what the original colors were uh, but it was originally a blue so I, I think I matched it relatively well and I could tell that there was red um, in here, so uh, the gold was something I added. I think it, it looks pretty good um, on the tulips, so on and so forth. So new play field, everything's been replaced. Uh, one of the things that I'll show you, this is a really cool center attraction. I really like it, uh, but I'll show, it, show you what it does when I uh, get the machine loaded up. So you can see how nice and clean it all is and everything is good to go. So when you get this machine, um, you'll, you'll put the feet on. Uh, the feet will be uh, taken off for shipping. So there's just two screws that hold the, the feet on on each side. You put the feet back on and then, then it's quite stable. So let me turn this around to the back side and we'll show you what to do when you get it. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. There is a 12-volt power supply. You just plug it into the wall. And when you plug it in, you will notice the, the light in the uh, upper right corner, as it is, um, will be on. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck this up and, and put a staple on this before I ship it for you. So it'll be up in there like that. But you will be able to unplug this if, if you had to. But that's the way it'll be like that, okay? Uh, and this light will come on. The, the reason that light is on is because there's no pachinko balls in the machine. It's run by this micro switch here. Uh, when, there, when there is weight on, on this for, from the balls, this lifts up off the switch, turns the light off. When the weight's not there, this drops down and turns the light on. It says you need pachinko balls. So that's why that light's on. Notice a little pink... Um, sign right there it says slide prior to loading what they're talking about is this little slide right here goes over and latches and what that does is it keeps these little white things um, so that when the balls go across here they do go all the way down around and across into the jackpot chamber if this is released then these feet will swing and the balls would drop out of the machine. That's how you would unload the machine. Uh, again, it's a maintenance thing. You, chances are you will never need it, but you always want to make sure that this is latched over here. The other thing you want to do is, is this says push uh, reset lever up prior to loading or playing. And there's just a little, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a little pin here. You push up on that and you can see, you should be able to see in the video the white plastic. It is sitting uh, in the machine like this. This is the correct position. If it's this way when you get the machine because it's been jostled around during shipping by pushing up on that little little uh, lever there, it will reset it to this position. This is the position you want it in 
prior to loading the balls and playing for the first time. So you're getting 500 pachinko balls, you're going to put 450 of them up here. So with this catch where it belongs and this up, you're going to now put the 90% of your pachinko balls in the upper hopper. You will need something similar to this. Uh, it needs to be that wide because the losing balls exit the machine out of this chute and a winning ball goes down through here and exits the machine here. So you need something about this size to catch the pachinko balls. Um, again, I, I don't have access to these, so I don't supply them. So now the machine is ready to go. You notice that the light is out. And the pachinko balls have loaded from here, gone down and around into the jackpot chamber. They're sitting to wait. Now what happens when you win is the ball goes internally into the inside here. It rolls down to the, the uh, seesaw chamber. The weight of the ball tips the seesaw chamber down. The, ball, the winning ball then continues down along here and exits. In the meantime, it opens the jackpot, lets the, the 15 balls out of the machine, and they come out the front as, as your prize for getting a, a winning ball. And then the whole system resets, okay? So that's the way it works in the back. So let's turn this around. I'll show you the machine in action. Now, there's no real skill uh, to playing pachinko. It's, a, it's merely a game of chance for sure. But there is a, a technique, if you will. Um, this is your launch mechanism. Now, after you've loaded the balls in the back, you're going to put some balls in the, in the front frame. And you're going to launch them. Now, the first ball that you, or the first time you work the launch lever, nothing will happen. It takes one cycle for the balls to actually get inside of the machine. You can, see, you can see a couple down in there. Press down, and again, nothing happens. But now there is a ball on the launch ramp. So the next time we do this, it will launch a ball. And we have a loser. Okay, so that's, that's a cycle, that's a win cycle. Uh, when the tulips are open, they're much easier to get a pachinko ball into than when they are closed. So I'm gonna launch a couple more. This is a pay pocket. Now you notice that this one opened when I put a ball in here. There, there, there's uh, pathways internally that, that make that happen. Uh, if you press all the way down and let go, it's going to go all the way over, hit the bumper, and tend to stay on this side of the machine. If you press down not quite all the way and let go, then it will tend to stay on the left-hand side of the machine. Ideally, you're trying to, to launch a ball so that it will drop down in this area and go down into your center chamber. Um, it's, it's not an easy thing to do, but then again, the pachinko parlors didn't make it easy for you to win. So I'm gonna cheat here and show you the, the features of your machine, because I think this is just very cool. When you put a ball in here, there is a, an internal chute that lets the ball drop, goes into a turnaround and comes right back up, and then it will go internally into one of four slots. So I'll just show you what happens. I drop a ball in, and it swings up, and this time it, it stayed on the left side and opened this tulip. Same thing. So I'm gonna drop a ball in here and you notice it opened this one, and, and because it, it went through this one, it goes through this one before it exits, so it did that. So right now all the tulips are open. It's going to be a lot easier for you to win. Um, these are probably the toughest spots to win. The ball would drop down, hit, hit this pin, and then go back up and go into the hole. 
uh, it would open this, it would open the center tulip uh, again fairly hard to do so uh, try to get them to drop down into here and then they'll open so that's uh, that's your machine uh, would you launch a bunch of balls so you can launch them as fast as you want or as slow as you want When this light comes on, you're just going to push this over, let balls drop here, scoop them out, go right up over the top and drop them back right into the hopper. That's all there is to it. Pretty machine. I uh, hope you enjoy it for many years to come. It was my pleasure to work on it. Thank you very much.